cleanses your mind. When your mind has been cleansed, your life is holy. If you are not taught who Christ is, you cannot live an effective Christian life. There is no other honor greater than that of sonship. Worldliness is the trap that enslaves men to the devil. Relationship with God is a gift. Fellowship is a choice. The true expression of divine love is forgiveness to others. What you pursue is an expression of what you desire. I appear to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But by my name, Lord, I was not known to them. Ah, the gateways of encounters. The first understanding I want to bring to us is that it's in the work of creation, basically God created two realms that we understand from scripture. And we have what we call the invisible realm and the visible realm. Glory be to God. Um, Romans 1 20, 2 Corinthians 4 18 talks about two realms, visible and what? Now, the visible realm is the realm where that is ordained for natural things to find expression in creation. While the invisible realm is a realm limited for spiritual things to find expression there. So we have a realm where all that is natural, natural means born of the earth. Are you understanding me? Spiritual means born of heaven. So whatever is born of the earth operates where? In the natural realm. And because man was made of dust, though the spirit came, I will explain that, man has to operate in this realm. But when God created man, look at this. He says, and God made man from the dust of the earth. But when he made man from the dust of the earth, man was not alive. He said, and God breathed into man, and man became a living spirit. Now watch this. So man was made by two things, the dust of the earth and the breath from above. Which means, according to the wisdom of God, man is created to operate both in the invisible and the invisible realm of creation. So, when carnality is when a man operates only by the limits of the visible realm, there are people who think that what they do not see does not exist. Friend, my assignment tonight is to open you up to a realm that is beyond normal understanding. A realm which is beyond natural and intelligent comprehension. There is another realm. Are you getting me? God said, I appeared. Spirits don't appear to spirits. <laughs> what does that mean now? You understand so? So, basically there are two realms of creation. And your ability, remember what I said? I said man was ordained by God's wisdom to operate both in the invisible and the visible realms of existence. As a human being, you must understand, you are made from the dust of the earth and from the breath of God. So it requires you operating on the earth, but by the energy of the spirit. Because when God created man from the dust, what gave man the power to live was not the dust, was the breath from above. So when the devil wants to make a man on earth become useless in the sight of God, he cuts him off from his spiritual assistance. So there are people who live their life only focus on earthly things. You hear me? After this encounter, you are going to be open to a realm of spiritual realities. You need to have a certain perspective of life before you can command relevance on earth. And um, there are two ways you can see life, either by a spiritual perspective or a natural perspective. Those who view life by a natural perspective are limited to what their physical senses can understand. But those who address life from a spiritual perspective, they are limited to what their spiritual senses can comprehend. Which means, a man that lives by the flesh, what he cannot see with his eye, he thinks he's not there. But when you are spiritual, he said, he that is from above is above. So those of us who are born again, Jesus said, he that is born again is like the wind. So being born again is an initiation to operate 
into the realm of the spirit because when adam fell through sin adam fell from the realm of the spirit and began to operate in the realm of the flesh so the purpose of christ through his sacrifice was to bring man back to operate in the realm of the spirit where god ordained so when a man says, i am now a born again means i can now operate in the realm of the spirit don't forget what i said god ordained man in his wisdom to operate both in the invisible and visible realms of existence but spirits angels cannot do that that's why for a spirit to operate on earth they need the body of a man because flesh and blood is the only spiritual composure that is licensed by god to have free operation on the earth realm so when a demon lives wherever and come oh holy ghost that's why for jesus to be born they need the womb of mary it, they need a license and we are that license man is the door to the earth realm bible says through one man sin entered so adam was a door now if sin entered through adam one man bible then says righteousness entered through another man jesus it means if a curse entered by your grandfather a blessing can enter through you oh god I get you what I'm saying now. So he said to Moses, He said, I am the Lord. I appeared unto Abraham as the Lord Almighty, which is um, Elohim, but unto you, he said, By my name Jehovah, they did not know me. Notice, by my name Jehovah, they did not know. No matter what you know about God, there's something you don't know. No matter what you have heard of God, there's something you have not heard. When the devil wants to hinder, the spiritual advancement of men he manipulates them to be comfortable in their present realm there is much more to what you are seeing god you have to keep putting pressure because more of god means more more strength and energy to fulfill purpose on earth we don't give up even when we fail we start back because we understand that we are made from above and the more we connect there are people christians in the church their life is 100% kana, full of the flesh. They have been disconnected from that realm because they don't understand you must put pressure in the things of the spirit. Jesus said from the days of John the Baptist to now, the kingdom suffered violence and the violent take it by force. Notice, it takes violence. You must put pressure. There are dimensions that are not up, that are obtained by putting pressure. So spiritual violence is the strategy ordained by the spirit through which men can have can obtain spiritual graces resident in the spirit there are things you can put pressure on refuse for your life to be normal i refuse to die i refuse to be sick there is something in god listen to me let me tell you something how do i know the things that god can do i check what he did for others how did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? How could people enter fire? We're talking about fire. They entered fire. They were inside fire. Fire did not burn them. It means there is a realm in God where fire has no power over the flesh of man. How did Daniel enter a lion's den and the lion could not eat him? It means there is a realm in God where, where wild animals have no power. How did a viper bite Apostle Paul? Normally, vipers have the most poisonous venom. It beat Apostle Paul. He shook up the viper. And Babu specified he suffered no ill, no harm. There's a realm in God. Today, we find Christians dying by everything. There is a realm in God where a man can command authority and power. And it is open to everyone, but there is a something there. There is a need to put pressure. There is much more. There is something I desire from the Lord. I am not comfortable where I am. Have you get what I'm saying? Only men who are consistent to the activity of fellowship with the Spirit can become a threat to Satan and his kingdom on earth that means when satan it's not about i pray today satan does not like people who are consistent in following god some people pray today then they don't pray tomorrow you are not a threat but there are people who say man of god unto i see the glory i will not stop the fasting i will put pressure listen to me you must put pressure god he says god hides himself how will you see a god that hid himself you have to put pressure in spiritual things you must prove beyond every reasonable doubt that it is God you want, nothing. You must prove to God.
proof to everything that say, I am looking for God. You know, there are people who are in the place of prayer and they can leave prayer to go and attend to the things of men. No. Go back to the place where I'm looking for God. I'm looking for God. Listen, let me tell you something. Doesn't matter whether it's 50 years, 20 years, forget that story. He said, They that wait on the Lord shall do what? Let nobody use their experience to deceive you. The fact that somebody waited on God for 80 years and nothing happened. Might be he didn't wait well. Scripture cannot be broken. Gee, the Bible, the Spirit said, They that wait on the Lord shall renew the strength, shall mount up with wings like eagles. Bible is telling you that waiting on the Lord is not wasting your life. It may seem as if nothing is happening, but I want to assure you, when you lay hold of a mantle, your generation must hear you. What have you captured in the Spirit? What have you held? There are people who boast of the things of the flesh. I have a car. I have a house. These things which wind can carry. I want to be able to say, I know God. If you are telling me you have a car, a man who has a car cannot stand before a man that knows God. Because your car can be carried away. He said, they that know the Lord shall be strong. Come on here. So our boasting is not in any material thing. It's in the knowledge of God we have obtained in the place of fellowship. I know my God. Ha, lift your hands in the name of Jesus. I separate myself from the things of the world. But now hear me. Given that God is a spirit, there is, <laughs> there is no way that you by yourself can go and meet God if God does not call for you. You cannot. He said, and a voice said to John, Revelation 4 verse 1, he said, and a voice said, come up here, friend. You cannot ascend into a realm you have not been called. It takes spiritual summonings in the spirit to call forth men into, into realms of fellowship. There are things which you desire, but then my point is this. God has released a summon in the spirit. The ministry of the prophet is to blow the trumpet. You don't understand what I'm saying. That is, when he said the prophet will stand at his watch and when he sees something coming in the spirit he takes a trumpet and blows that's why in the olden days those who stood at the watch post when they see war there's a way they blow the trumpet the kind of sound of the trumpet the people interpret what it means don't play with the prophetic ministry because the prophetic ministry is the only spiritual technology through which men can have understanding of spiritual times and seasons. A prophet will come and say, it's time to fast. They say, ah, why should I fast? I am married. I have a child. All things are fine. There's something he has seen. Elijah was, was praying. It, the man looked up. He said, I see a hand. Not everybody can see the hand. He said, I see a hand. He says, this means rain is coming. How do you see a hand and interpret as rain? That's the work of a prophet. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So, that don't play with prophetic ministries begin to focus on the things we teach because when we begin to teach something we, we can capture God's emphasis we capture God's burden and you notice for about 6 months all the man is preaching is faith, faith, God is saying what? he's blowing the trumpet, everybody go back to faith when the devil wants to make a generation miss God's purpose they manipulate them to despise the prophetic ministry any generation that does not pay attention to the prophetic ministry will, will, will miss what God prepared for them. Because whatever God has prepared is announced by the ministry of the prophet. We are the one that say, prepare yourself. Look at this. Last two months, an angel appeared to me. I'm talking about encounters. So go there. So the angel appeared and said, prepare yourself and wait on the Lord for three months. For 2025, the year of the spirit of glory. Friend, I heard it. That's what I heard in July. Six months to the end of the year. They, they said, stop preparing. Now, if people are not hearing what I'm saying, next year will come and they'll be shocked because I was carried in the spirit and I was taken to the ocean and I saw the rising. 2025 will be the rising of the queen of the coast. He go bad. It will be terrible. I saw it. And they will rise and they will come against the church. Immoralities of all kinds. 
nations will begin to license all kind of perversion it will hit the church and there will be attacks of wickedness upon the church by the water and the lord said three months to wait on him so we can be prepared because there is a grace he wants to release those who have not prepared themselves if the grace come it will crush them so those who have not prepared this year will not have it next year now look at this see the work of a prophet so i'm saying this is what i'm seeing adjust yourself now that's the mission of a prophet you know people think that the prophetic ministry is to call people's names that is the basic one of the greatest rank in the prophetic ministry is the ability to capture the intents of the hearts of god and communicate them to men that's a true a great prophet the one that can see in god's heart and come and say oh you in kumba repent the lord says no more homosexuality now that is a because he can capture but another prophet can say your name is peter your name is mary your name is joseph oh that is good but when a prophet in a high rank come he may not call your name but he will look and see into the heart of god and say stop this thing you are doing because the prophetic ministry must make you adjust oh, yeah. that which the spirit has ordained to give you they must first release the prophet to make you adjust listen to me people who are sensitive will carry strange strange mantles you will see you will, wait next day you will see you will see people that have no name no church raising the dead we will just wait i mean somebody told us i mean we're just in church looking strange but because they have been waiting on god something the spirit of glory will fall on those who wait is the word of the Lord. I heard it clear, not not straight, straight word, open, open, be clear. So there are things for you. So my assignment is to bring in those things. That's why when I teach, you know, in First Corinthians 13, 1 to the Paul said, If I have the gift of prophecy and I understand all mysteries, not if I have the gift of prophecy and I know everybody's name. Notice that the gift of prophecy is a spiritual technology through which spiritual mysteries can be understood and communicated a man that is a prophet he can look at you and tell you just the one he say your great grandmother he say ah, no prophet that's not why i came oh that's not why i came oh there's one man that wants to marry me he doesn't like me again he said only your great grandmother he has unveiled a mystery the people want to hear what they want to hear know what the lord is saying say i open myself to the ministry of the prophet you know what because more than ever before the ministry of the prophet will be needed from this season because whenever darkness increases god must balance the equation by increasing light and second peter 1 that he says he said hold on to the prophetic word as a light that shines in darkness so the prophetic word is a light raga shada balataya and this is what god is doing god is not just in this time the lord spoke to me is god is not able to make what i call solo prophetic ministry it's not about a man a prophet Kevin. no god wants to raise a prophetic people he wants to use me and other prophets to raise a, a generation of people i mean imagine a church everybody hears god ah, yeah that's what we are moving to i mean you are saying father what should i do don't go out clear no the prophet prophet no prophet prophet you only call me to confirm what you heard because everybody will hear it that's our assignment not to make you enslaved to us because a true prophet does not just introduce men to god he introduces god to men let me explain he brings men in the place where they can begin to operate with god because if you openly operate to god through me you have become a slave to me and you can be easily deceived and manipulated when my selfish desires and loss begin to spring forth that's why you find some things happen to you in the prophetic ministry because prophets when listen man a man and if a man is not mature as a man too much of kind of submission he may want to take advantage of you but when people are mentored into the ways of the spirit my selfish desires cannot have room because you truly hear god that is why to keep myself to protect you from my flesh i want you to know god so if i make a mistake because you now know god you will be able to correct and say papa this is not what you thought also that's a good church 
that is a good choice. We can say, uh, Prophet, this thing, this is scripture said. Because once we teach you the truth, it's not in the day. You see, there are times as a man that can be discouraged. You know, say, Papa, this is what we should do now. Say, I open myself to the spirit of prophecy. Do you know one thing people don't like the prophetic? It's because you cannot control it. You know, when he came on Saul, sir, he said, Saul removed his cloth. You, you cannot control it. You cannot control this thing. When it didn't come, now all that. And that is why the spirit of prophecy, prophecy it, you need to have a childlike heart for it to work on you. <laughs> you, you cannot calculate how you, it can just come, just wake up, it's not moving. It, 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 a prophet came and said, hey, give me your belt. Ah, I'm not going to prophesy that. In service, he told Saul, Paul, give me, Apostle Paul, give me your belt. It was Prophet Agabus. And Paul removed his belt and gave him. He said, when the, the prophet took the belt and when he tied it on his waist, he said, ah, don't say the Lord. Notice, for him to capture a prophecy for Apostle Paul, he demanded something from him. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Prophetic connection. I opened myself. Say, I jump into the river. <laughs> Carry me. Some say encounters. Do you know I'm talking on the spirit of prophecy? Because the Bible says in Revelation 19:10, the angel said, He said, The spirit, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Notice the testimony of Jesus is what? What does that tell you? It means the spirit of prophecy is one of the technologies that usher men into the practical experience of the reality of Christ. Be careful of the spirit of prophecy. When it will come on you, ear open, eye open, heart open, then I will not show you none the gates. When that one has rested upon you, I prophesy. Let the spirit of prophecy carry you. Now look at this. When the spirit of prophecy comes upon you, eh, and it opens you to the realm of the spirit, you know what happens? You can hear. You can see, you can understand. And in that realm, eh? <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. How can I explain this thing? Ah, yeah. You are like a mobile antenna. You are capturing things. Who will plan against you? You will see their plan. <laughs> that, it's the spirit of prophecy. Listen to me. Once the church limits the spirit of prophecy, to the operation of word of knowledge it has denied a major advantage of spiritual instruction spirit of prophecy is not word of knowledge is your name is your name is it is more than that it is operating it is a river the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of jesus so he said i appeared now we said god is a spirit not so and it is impossible he says i has not seen Ear has not heard, eye has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has he entered into the mind of mind of uh -huh, mind of notice, neither has he entered into the mind of men the things which God has prepared for us, but it has been revealed to us by the Spirit. First Corinthians 2 10 to 14. Look at this, it means that by the flesh no one can know God. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard. So, for you to know, that's why I say encounter means now God he can show himself, he must obey himself. Bible says, You are a God that hides yourself in darkness. In the book of Psalm, David said, God that covers himself with darkness as a garment. Look at how we see him. And then I verse say, He that liveth in inapproachable light, how will you come close? It is God that has to come to you. That's why we don't boast of encounters because you cannot do anything. It is him that says, okay, I'm coming to you. I'm just trying to show you the pathways because God said to me that there is a grace he has opened in the spirit for people to encounter him and know him. Listen, in Revelation 4 verse 1, he said, and the door was opened and a voice said, come up higher. God opened the door but he did not drag John there. Aye. So there is something you have to do. Tell somebody respond. Amen. What is an encounter? Number one, an encounter is an occurrence that brings men into the knowledge of spiritual truth. J. 
Genesis 28, 12 to 17. In this scripture, Genesis 28, 12 to 17, if you read verse 17, when he said, when Jacob woke up from the dream, he said, God was here and I did not know. So, through an encounter, we have what? Knowledge of what? Spiritual truth. Spiritual truths cannot be known by discovery. They are only known by encounters. There must be an unveiling, something that comes and you have access to spiritual. It means whatever is taught in the realm of the spirit, you can only have access to it by what? Encounters. So, there are things in the realm of the spirit. There are truths. There are principles. There are things there. Through an encounter, so something which happens, but it brings you to knowing the spiritual truth is what? An encounter. Do you know why? Because, let me say something to you. There are people, listen to me very well. I want to take time and break this down. There are people who only think encounters must be spectacular. Not all encounters are spectacular. But all encounters are supernatural. Some people, they feel like they want to hear wind blow in their room. They now hear a voice. Kevin. 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 Ah, who are you? Turn the name. Bah, like, bah. I am. I am. That is why you have missed many encounters. The easiest way to miss an encounter is to focus more on the spectacular and despise the supernatural. Some things are supernatural, but they are not spectacular. Spectacular means there's nothing physical that happened that look strange. Yet it's an encounter. That is why somebody can meet, meet a prophet and he's talking with the prophet and it's an encounter. But because he did not shake, he did not fall, he doesn't know that it was an encounter. Oh God. So I need to teach you that if something happens to you where through that, you know sometimes eh, an encounter can happen, eh, you don't see anything, but you just know something. That's an encounter. You, you, you feel like, I'm not going to travel today. That, that knowledge is, that's an encounter. It gives you a knowledge of the spiritual truth. Many people are too focused on what? On the spectacular. You know there are times that Jesus came to you, but because he was not spectacular, you didn't know it was Jesus. Many of you have seen Jesus in your dream. In fact, there is nobody here that has not seen Jesus. Shall I prove it to you? Matthew chapter 16. Give me verse 13. Mark, sorry, Mark chapter 16. Take from verse 10. Please take from verse 10. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept, verse 11. And when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe, verse 12. After that, he appeared in another form. This is why when they saw him, they did not know it was him. In fact, the Bible says that these guys, when Jesus appeared, they began preaching to Jesus about Jesus. Don't read that. He said he appeared. He said, what are you guys discussing? Luke 24, verse 12. Luke 24, verse 12. I'm going to show you something. In another form. So what kind of form is that? Continue. Now, behold, two of them. Remember in Mark, this is those guys. Two of them were traveling that same day to a village called Emmaus, which were seven miles from Jerusalem, verse 14. And they talked together of all things which had happened. Verse 15. Allah. So it was while they conversed and reasoned that Jesus himself drew near and went with them. He's walking with them. See the <laughs> But their eyes were restrained so that they did not know him. Verse 17. This is something. And he said to them, What kind of conversation is this that you have with one another as you walk and are sad? Verse 18. Then one of them, Cleopas, answered him, Ah, are you only a stranger in Jerusalem? And you have not known the things which have happened? Yeah. <laughs> Verse 19. And he said to them, Ah, what things? So they said to him, eh, eh, The things concerning Jesus of Nazareth, they are preaching Jesus to Jesus. Jesus, you don't know Jesus? Who was a prophet, mighty indeed, and worth before God and all the people? Yeah, yeah, verse, yeah, verse 20. Yeah. And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and crucified him. Verse 21. But, but we were hoping that it is, was he who was going to redeem Israel. Indeed, besides all this, today is the third day these things have happened. Continue. Yes, and certain women of our company who arrived at the tomb astonished us. 
when they did not find his body and they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels who said he was alive he said how can I talk that and certain of these who were with us to tomb and found it just as the women had said but him they did not see continue then he says to them oh foolish one and slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken 26 ought not the Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory 27 and beginning at Moses and all the prophets he expounded he taught them in all the scripture all the things concerning himself 28 listen to this so then they drew near to the village where they were going and indicated that he would have yeah Jesus Jesus pretend and Jesus pretended as if he would want to go far the God who pretends now look at what I want to show you look at look at look, look at the rhema here but they constrain him sometimes and you are praying God is not talking it's just a pretend to see if you can insist tell somebody insist ah yeah 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 but they constrain him saying abide with us for it is toward evening and the day is fast spent and he went in to stay with them they don't know Jesus so after seven hours of checking and talking now it came to pass and he sat at the table with them that he took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them verse 31 it's not trouble then their eyes opened they knew him and he vanished from their sight now listen see something see verse 32 and they said then yeah, here did not our heart born stop their heart was telling them it's Jesus but because they thought encounters must be spectacular they did not know it was Jesus did not our heart born I was feeling like something is not right I would feel like some, have you ever woke up in the morning I just have a kind of joy you have had an encounter that was not spectacular but was supernatural bring it up again he said did not our hearts born while he talked with us on the road and while he opened did not our heart born ah yeah 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 he was walking with them many of you in your dream you saw Jesus in another form another time he came with my face he was with my face and you in the dream you were hey, Papa Jemo we are in church but you came but Papa the way you were shining is not me oh Oh, you were just shining, you had light. They just touched my fair piece. It was Jesus. He came in a different form, which means the form that they knew him to have before he died is not the one he appeared with. Understand that. So, Jesus, when he ascended from the grave, has now an ability to take different forms. Jesus can appear to you wearing a jean trouser. Yes, some of you think he must wear one long kaba, white kaba. I'm, I'm going back to the matter of spectacular. They feel like Jesus will not come. One white cup. This, this is what they want to see. Come. Open your hands. <laughs> All right. Come. So, <laughs> when they see this, they say, Ah, it can't be Jesus. No, it can be him. He can even come with a short knicker. He can, if I, he, can, he can come with Cameroon Jesse up and down. Yes, in another form. Oh, God. See, no, if these people appear, who sure you think much is an angel? Tell you the truth. If these people appear, they say, we are angels. You say, which one to be angel? Say, oh, she's be angel. <laughs> but you forget that this was the dressing of Jewish people. I'm not a Jew. Let me leave it like that. Thank you. But I'm showing you a mystery now. Are you getting what I'm teaching? Don't focus on what? Spectacular. Sometimes eh, you are praying. Eh? You are praying. And Jesus enters your room. And just, you just feel that a coldness on your body. Then he finish. He says, no, Lord, appear to me. Appear to me. Because you know why? You have had our own encounters. Yours must not be like my own. Say, I'm not going to say, I'll not say, I was in my room. I lie down on the floor. And when Jesus entered, everything began to sing. He said, hey, I want that kind of one. Forget, no big follow I talk. You understand? You know some people, when I say my encounter on Sunday, some people say, ah, prophet. Ah, Jesus came into your room and your, your bed, everything was giving sound. Yeah, the roof opened in the, the, the roof of the room opened, angels were everywhere. Don't look for the spectacular. Satan may appear. He said, the devil masquerade as an angel of light. When you are so much after the spectacular, Satan will deceive you. Are you get what I'm saying? Just open your heart to truth, not to spectacular. I feel like some people now, you know, there are people whom they'll meet me in the office and I'll hold their hand 
I say, grace. And they leave the office. They be vexed. <laughs> they feel like I did not take them serious. You just say grace. Grace now, which you know my problem there. <laughs> but now watch. If I said grace, and I mean like this, and, this like, <laughs> and the fair, you say that prophet gave power. It touched me so grace. I feel him. I feel. These are people they are looking for the spectacular. You see, a woman was sick. She touched it. She did not shake. She did not fall, but she was healed. The supernatural is not always spectacular. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, okay. Oh. Say, Jesus, I open myself. Oh. Say it. Jesus. Say, I appear in any form. Yes. So, notice their form. When Jesus appears in a different form, how do you know it is him? Your heart. There are times there, eh, you know, service now and service different. No? So service day with the can church. All they go back, we know that day service be different. You know what the message is different? Now they can't anoint you with that service. Sometimes I can be preaching it and you feel like he was no longer prophet came. Something took over him. That's what Jesus had entered. I can be preaching and Jesus walks in here. You feel that atmosphere has changed. Sometimes it can be during choir worship. There are times that choir is worshiping and in my office I start crying. There are times that Jesus can enter and possess the worship. Listen, if I'm preaching it and Jesus enters and stands here, people don't have to fall. You just feel an atmosphere shifting. You feel like, but now, nah, that's what I'm teaching you now to be mature. So anytime you are praying and you feel this burning in your heart, who is there? You say, Jesus, I know so you're there here. No, go away, no, bless me. Because, I'll teach you why, because there are people who have encounters. Because they could not recognize the encounter, they missed the impartation. Listen to what I'm saying, you know. You can miss impartation if you don't recognize the encounter. In my room. My heart. He said, did not our heart burn? I said, Jesus, forget you, there here. By you there, you there, but not lie, no go. You there, bless me. A man of God, Kokene Hagin said, Jesus, he had a problem. He was indebted sort of for over 11 years. Jesus appeared and said, On this day called the day, he said, I came with my angel to talk to you. But because you did not recognize our presence, we left. And the angel was the angel of finances who was sent by Jesus to tell Kokene Hagin that a family will come. This is what you have to do to be free from financial problem. And because you could not take advantage of the encounter, he missed the direction and suffered for 11 years. Many, that's what I'm teaching you now. Your room no more shake. Many of us have set a standard that we want, not that God wants. Do you feel like? Fire, fire, fire. Fire, follow me. <laughs> so you are waiting for, as you are praying, Ah, don't I? So, listen, before it. <laughs> You know, sometimes we don't know what I'm teaching now. You begin to create fake things in church. You start making huh, huh, because you feel like you have to shake for these things to be real. No, sometimes there is no shaking. Sometimes there is a violent shaking. My point is this: open yourself to the supernatural, not because sometimes the spectacular can be deceptive. He say, "Angel, Satan comes as an angel of light." Number two was an encounter. Are you blessed now or not? And encounters an event that unveils the spiritual world for the experience of spiritual realities. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Paul said, I know a man who was caught up in the third heavens and he experienced things. Those are encounters. So sometimes an encounter is not just knowing the truth, it's now what someone say experience. Okay. Elijah was hungry, an angel appeared, gave him food, he ate it. And woke up, he was strong. By the food Elijah ate in a dream, he could trek for 40 days without eating. 40 days and 40 nights. Have you ever had a dream where you are like a Roman soldier? Your own dream? Uh, I don't have dreamers of dreams here. Dreamers of dreams, number one, they, are, they dream the highest confused dream. Yes. You are having, today you have, and one night they can dream 50 dreams in one night. Too. Don't play with them. Oh. These people are spiritual travelers. They go to realms. So you'll be dreaming. You say, ah, in that dream, when you place, it was like America. It's not America. The only way your physical mind can describe the place is America. But you went to a realm in paradise. Because the mind of a, an African has been configured to think that all fine place in America. So there is a possibility that while in a place of prayer or in a dream of vision, you can be carried to a realm and experience a reality. Friend, hey, John, where enter heaven? He didn't say it was like America. <laughs> uh, he entered heaven. 
John went to heaven. He spoke with my God. He spoke with angels. Saw the Lord. Saw the throne of God in heaven. In that vision, they gave him a Bible. He ate it. Revelation, he said he ate it. It was sour, sweet in his mouth and became bitter in his stomach. He could experience. He was seeing things. In the vision, John cried. He was in an experience. Encounters is not just yet. Encounters can be when you are brought. The world is on this. Okay, now let me show you angels. Friend, one time I was carried to where angels are. I saw billions of angels in all kinds and shape and form. There are words in the spirit. Through encounters, you are brought to them because such things give you some understanding on how to navigate yourself into this physical world. Are you hearing me? So those are encounters and unveiling. Something is open. You know. There is a veil between the physical world and the spiritual world. In an encounter, God removes, you know what they call it, a veil? Like the blind for us. God will shift them. And you will not only see, you will experience. That is why somebody can enter an encounter and come out from the encounter with wisdom. Solomon entered an encounter and came out with wisdom and riches. Encounters are real. People can have encounter with demons and come out with sickness. Yes, it will never happen to you. Amen. Number three was an encounter. An encounter is an apparition of spiritual beings to interact or for in their interaction with men, better with men. Let's put men. An encounter is an apparition of a spiritual being for the interaction with men. Let us see Matthew chapter 17, verse 1 to 5. Hallelujah. Now, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, led them up on the high mountain by themselves, verse 2, and he was transfigured before them, his face shone like the sun, and his cloth became as white as the light. Notice, in this part, the spiritual world was unveiled, and they saw Jesus in his spiritual form. They have always seen Jesus walking like a man. This part, they say, hey, the man of God, they saw light. But watch now, verse 3. Read. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them talking with him. <coughs> Stop your look here. Now this is where there is a confusion. Moses and Elijah did not appear to Jesus. They appeared to them. To them who? To Peter, John and James. How would they understand what I say? <laughs> they were talking with him. Peter, John and James thought Jesus was talking alone. They saw him doing like this. So, it's up to part today. Sakara shida broska inika masuvle da here. Ah, okay. Mara na kausivia abrania kome vadia. Ah, malasiso kradia. Peter said, "John, see something." Because Jesus was praying far. They were that way, so they saw Jesus. Jesus is there. Ah, bere no kasina. Oh, ah, Malavia sombre, Amakani sombre, Vashia. Oh, Malatia ne Kuranda. Eh, he said, Yeah, what's happened, Jesus? As they look, Aya Kambahadi. What? <laughs> Number two, who told them it was Elijah and Moses? Remember what I told you in an encounter, you know as you are known. If that is a listen, when yes, when Jesus appeared to Saul. Saul said, who are you, Lord? Who are you, Lord? It means you, you some way you know it is Lord, but I mean, talk Remember what I said, the heart was burning. Listen to me. If Apostle John appears to you, you just know that it was Apostle John. It is, in the realm of the spirit, they don't communicate by words, they communicate by thoughts. If an angel appears and looks at you, his thoughts will enter your, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. May your realm be open. Amen. So, they appear to them, not to all of them. And they saw. Elijah spoke with him. John spoke with him. So, in this time now, it's when God appears to a man. That's an encounter. The apparition of a spiritual being. Either it is God or Jesus. God appeared to Gideon. Oh my God. Gideon was at the threshing floor. He was threshing wheat. And an angel appeared. Then God appeared. The Lord, the angel of God appeared to Manoah, Samson's mother. God appeared to Abraham. Genesis 12. It's and the Lord appeared to Abraham. God can appear. It can be an encounter where God comes. 
and God, remember what I said, God can take any form. Sometimes you have an encounter, you just see with a cloud and a voice is talking. Sometimes you see a pillar of light. Sometimes you see a song. Sometimes you don't, you don't hear, but you just see pictures passing. It's the encounters. You are open to that in Jesus' name. Amen. There are three gateways of encounters. Which, listen to me, which I want to now say to everybody, go and look for what I preached when I began this series. Because I spoke about, now just, I will not explain the gates because I've explained well in the message. There are three gates, dreams, visions, and trances. Number one gateway for encounter is dreams. And this is the most basic part. Because even unbelievers can have encounter through dream. Alright? Dreams. Matthew 1 verse 20. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a, in a dream. So let's see Genesis 20 verse 6. Let's go to verse 5. Continue. Is it verse 3? And the Lord appeared to Abimelech in a dream of the night. Okay, see that? But God came to Abimelech in a... <coughs> so, the first gateway of encounter is what? Dreams. Take your dream seriously. The basic way, that's why even unbelievers can encounter God in their dream because dreams is the easiest that which is mass. So this is something. This is dreams. Eh? This is what? This place here is what? Dreams. Now I move to this place here. This is what? Vision. This one here is trances. Unbelievers who are here and Christians who are not mature, the easiest way they can have encounter is through dreams. Listen, let's tell the truth. I'm not sure there's anybody in this church that have not seen me in their dream. And it is not me, it's the angel of God that appeared. But you must take a form. You understand what I'm saying? If children of me appear for you with five heads, you know wrong. So they want to come, they'll take a form that looks like me and talk to you and say, hey, you. I see Prophet Kevin tomorrow. Ah, Papa, in my dream, you appear. You told me to come and see you. It's an angel. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So, dreams. So, dreams are the first gateway of encounters. Pay attention to your dream. Through dreams, you can have encounters with God. Number two, visions. Amen. Let's see Acts 18, verse 9 and Luke 24, 23. Now, the Lord spoke to Paul in the night by vision. Do not be afraid, but do what? The Lord spoke in a what? In a vision. So in the night, he saw a vision where God appeared to him. Let's see Luke 23, 20, 24, 23. Now, vision now, you are not sleeping. Notice, in dream, you are sleeping. In vision, you are not sleeping. Vision means I see with that. Go and, go and check what I preach on vision last two weeks. Vision means I see without sleeping. Vision is a bit for, the, for those who are more mature. When they did not find his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. So, when the women went to the tomb, angels appeared to them. Any apparition from the spiritual realm is a vision. Sometimes you can be praying or worshipping God, all of a sudden, your eyes are open and you see into the realm. That's an encounter. You see into the realm of the spirit. An angel appears and say, do this. Do your business like this. So, in a vision now, a person can see an angel and he gives you an instruction. Oh Lord, what should I do? Two minutes up, as you are praying, you just see me, I appear. You are not sleeping, no. I say, go and call your grandfather and give him two bo one bottle of, a bottle of water. That's how it happens. I don't know, I was praying, and a voice told me, I saw, saw a man, that is an encounter. I'm teaching you now, so when it happens, you know what it means. Are you getting me? Are you hearing me? So, in dream, I was sleeping, and in the sleep, I saw an angel or a man come and say, do this, do this. Like Joseph was sleeping, they say, Go and wait, wake up, marry, marry. In a vision, you are not sleeping. It happens where it can be your eyes can be shut. Sometimes your eyes can be open and you see it. Like this guy saw it. Number three, trances. Acts 22, verse 17 to 18. Now it happened when I returned to Jerusalem and was praying in the temple that I was in a I was in a what? In a trance. Verse 18. And I saw him saying to me, he saw who? He saw the Lord Jesus Christ. Make haste and get out of Jerusalem quickly for they will not receive a testament concerning me. Now look here. Do you know what is a trance now? A trance is when you travel into the realm of the spirit and you are not sleeping. In a trance, have you ever been, what they call, um, daydreaming? That's a trance. That's why I always say that if you have children that are always, 
You call it, eh? Say, eh, eh? That begin, he gets some prophetic anointing. If you see a child, you call him, you will hear, you call him three times, he's not hearing. He's like, he's feeling pussy. Kevin, 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 eh, eh, eh? Bring him for prayer one time. We'll check if not Satan or not God. Because it means his eye is open. He has in a trance. They are children, it, they are always in a trance. Uh, there's another word for that. Lost sense. There's, an, there's another word again. He's always absent minded. Thank you very much. Thank you. Absent minded. I told him to me, say, eh? you don't say wait. Uh -uh. Don't play. Oh. This is what I'm saying. Oh. If you have a child like that that is always absent, you have to call him 15 times before you say, eh, 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 eh. He's go he has gone to a trance. Oh. And sometimes they can be summoned to the water for marine kingdom meeting. So you have to bring him. Let us put our hand. Use radar and examine. Oh. Yes, because you can have a child. When once one Sunday your child has been initiated, you see these absent minded things. They'll see like this on a Eh, eh? He has gone for a meeting. Bring her for prayer first, one time. No, why bring her prayer now? We'll go lay and we'll go know if not God or now wishy wishy. Amen. Notice now, they are not sleeping. No. And some people are always in a trance. They are sleeping in the night. He will wake up. They start walking. We air cover in the walker. So when they wake up, they start talking the whole night. Be careful of such people. Because when they go into the trance, when the trance is very strong, it begins to command their physical body to follow. Be careful, oh. One day I'll talk on this thing, but I'm just telling you now. So the, how, many three, how many gateways? Number one? Number two? Number three? So these are the three ways where encounters can be obtained. Glory be to God. But trances, you know, in the occultic world, they can activate a trance. You see in occultism, they'll put fire and they'll begin to dance. <laughs> when they dance around the fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then as they enter the trance, you see the priest begin to, their eyes will become white. They will now go and converse with the spirit. There are traditions in this nation where people go and enter water. Ah. And be in water for one hour. I don't see things. Oh. Ah. That's another one cause on them. They say too. Ah. And if they come out with fish, it means that God is happy. Ah. There are traditions where when they dance, 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 when the person enters that realm, he will take a live fowl, kill it and eat it like that. Live fowl. No cook. Life snake cut because at that point he has entered the trance. The spirit is now expressing itself. It's not, don't be careful though. They are incantations they can use and you enter a trance. That is why, listen to what I want to say now as a prophet. Focus on me and hear what I want to say now. Today, one of the highest medium where trances are, people are being brought into evil trances is immoral music. As they enter my club and they begin to dance, that's why every dark song comes with his dance step. Those dance steps are the, are the patterns that bring you into that spirit. Number two, sometimes sound attracts spirit. When you begin to play the sound, you play the sound. It begins to start so sometimes you can hear a music. After hearing the music, all you think about is sex. The sound has brought you into a realm of immorality. You can hear some music, all you want is fight. Are you get what I'm saying? Be careful of musical. Those are triggers of trances. I mean, I'm done with that part. That one is too deep. Let me leave it like that. So, what are the triggers of encounters? So, we, we, we already know that we need, um, um, we know the gateways, not so. But now, why is it that some people are saying, a man of God, why is this nothing from my dream? I want to tell you why. If you want to have an encounter through a dream, a vision of trance, Number one trigger is meditation on the word of God. The first thing that triggers godly encounters. If you begin to read Bible too much, you will see an angel of God. You will see, sorry, you will see and you have encounters. All right. Can we? Um, Second Corinthians, Second Chronicles, fifteen verse three. You see, and for a long time, the people were without a true God, without a teaching priest, and without the law. Because there was no law, no word, there was no encounters with God. First Samuel 3 verse 1 says, in those days the word of the Lord was rare. The first trigger of encounter, listen to me. If you want to have encounters in your dream, before you sleep, read Bible even for 30 minutes. You cannot be watching a movie of, I love you, I love you too. Ahmed, Ahmed, 
Tell the denier that I love her. Denier, denier, Ahmed loves you. That the dolphins. Then now, you now me like five minutes. Denier, denier, denier. Oh, Ahmed, Ahmed. Then denier sister will be angry because she also loves Ahmed. So her name is Suriya. She will now come. I don't like my sister. She loves Ahmed. Ahmed is my boy. She will now come now and put poison now in the nation. She will now think it. Oh, Ahmed, Ahmed, I'm dying for love. <laughs> I see you now. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> After that thing, I'm going to read the Bible and say, oh. So the kind of things you see and watch before you sleep can have an impact on which realm you visit in the dream. Read the word. Have you noticed that in the Bible? Before anyone had a dream, they say before. We saw Matthew 1.20. He said, he said what? He said, and Joseph was thinking on these things in the night. That's the encounter he had. Most often, your meditations is what structure your visitations. Are you getting what I'm saying? What are you thinking about? You will see it in your dream. So, the first thing is what? Trigger is what? The word. If you read Bible, read Bible, you can have encounter by dream, vision, or trances. The second trigger for encounters is prayer. Acts chapter 9, verse 11 to 12. Acts chapter 10, verse um, 5 to... 11 to 15, sorry. Look at this. Rakabashakai, Zakadabashaya, Radabaya, Hi, Ayakasa, Barakasha, Radabalia, Ikatumbraya, Shita Kosa, Madakaya. My son. Hey, yeah, You first stop, he said, Who is talking? Balasha. Tin not happen for me, oh. Pray. Prayer is a trigger for encounters. Prayer triggers encounters you cannot understand. If you are given to constant prayer, if, if the last thing you did before you slept, read Bible, pray. You have encounters in dreams and vision. But let me tell you something. If you want to secure encounters, wake up in the night. Wake up in the night. <laughs> off your phone. Sometimes off light. Katabaya. No, you pray. Ah, yeah. You sit down, cross your head inside your leg. Rakabasha. In that prayer, you're not saying, do it for me. Not do it for me. Kapalataya. Jesus, show me your power. Raka sika palata. Show me your glory. Ikata. Show me what I don't know. Ravadaya. Notice that the kind of prayer we pray is what determines the kind of visitations we have. Do it for me. Do it for me. Do it. Do what for you. Do what for you. So what am I praying? Lord, show me why. There is so much pain in my family. Prayers of inquiry trigger encounter. Show me why my mother has been sick for 50 years. Show me. As you finish prayer, as you sleep so, it all come out in clear. In Acts 10, 5 to 15, he said Peter was praying well, and he had the trance. God came and spoke to him. In Acts chapter 9, 11 to 12, Paul, Paul was praying and he saw. He had an encounter. Friend, prayer is the wing. Encounters fly on the wings of prayer. Pray. Can I give you a time where you can easily have encounters? Can I tell you the time? The highest time you can have encounter, hear me, is between 6 in the morning and 9 a.m. If you ever sleep in that time, anything you see will be encounters. Because, hey, what is the scripture now? I have taught on the watches of the day and the night. Go listen to that message. I've taught it there. If you sleep in the daytime, hard chances are because in the night there is too much evil activity so that it is hard. Listen, but from, from 4 a.m. to 9 a.m., is a cutters. If you sleep in the afternoon, most often you can have an attack. When the sun is hot, you can have an attack. Though you can have encounters, but they are quite rare. But the encounters are always between four. Let's say the window of 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. That's the window of encounters. So you wake up at 3, you pray like one hour. Shakalatia, ukambratia, shubiletaya. Jesus, what am I called to do for you? Pray of him. Not wake up, Lord, Lord, Lord. Not do it for me. Not heal me. Pray of him, Lord. What am I called to do? For you? Lord, why is it that I have prayed? I have not been healed. Is there something I'm not doing right? You begin to ask questions. Inquiries, Lord, Father. So why am I suffering so much? Inquiry, Lord. What is your will for my life? What is your plan? Oh God, show me your glory. Open my eye to see mysteries in your word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you can pray that you sleep, dream come. Or while you are praying, it has happened to you that I've been praying. And I just opened my eye like this. I saw the Lord Jesus standing. One time I was praying here. Mashadaya. 
This is where I was. I was praying. I lifted my head. I saw him standing here. I was starting, I was praying about the church. So I said, Lord, what should I do for the members? The members are poor. Some are sick. What can I do, Lord? I prayed, prayed, prayed. Fasted and prayed. Fasted and prayed. He just he said, if you fill them with my word, I will fill them with my glory. I did. I turned like this. He did one, two, three, and disappeared. I remained there. I was, I was, this way, that's what I was lying down. Hi. Number three trigger for encounter is worship. Someone say worship. Shout it louder. Show me Second Chronicle five thirteen. I want us to read this one. Someone say worship. Ay, 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 ay. Indeed, it came to pass when the trumpeters and singers were as one to make one. Someone say to make one sound. To make what? One sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voices, the trumpeters and cymbals and instruments of music, and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercy endures forever. That the house, the house of the Lord, was filled with a cloud. Oh, verse 14. Malakada. So that the priest could not continue ministering. No man will be preached because of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. They were not praying. Adonai, I worship you. I am. I As they were worshiping. Listen to me. You must understand the power of personal worship. You enter a room in the night. You are powerful. Shagabadala. So powerful in your ways. So adoration to the Lord. You reign. Adoration to the Lord. You reign. Notice, I didn't say he reign. If I'm singing in church, I can say he reign. If I'm singing in my room, is you reign. Now me, I hear it discourse. Adoration to you, Lord. You reign. And I give glory to my God. You reign. Adoration to the Lord. You reign. You reign. You reign. You reign. Oh. Adoration to you, Lord. You reign. You've been faithful, Lord. <laughs> From the ages past. That is why. Your name is forevermore. You've been faithful, Lord. From the ages, from the ages, ages past. That is why your name is forevermore. And you ride away. You ride away. <laughs> Have you noticed that in heaven, the throne of God is not surrounded by prayer warriors? He said, 24 elders, they were worshiping. He said, they removed their crown. First is the four creatures they are worshiping, not praying. Next is 24 elders. In fact, the Bible says, the only time in the Bible when there was silence in heaven is when the prayer of the saints came. Of God, look for those that we worship in spirit and in truth. Hi, prayer warriors are many, preachers are much more, worshippers are few. Adoration. He said, Listen, hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. My savior, you are powerful. Oh, Kabaya. So powerful in your ways. Ah. Forever you are excellent. So excellent in your ways. Jesus, I love you. I love you in your ways. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know some of you now, this is your problem. You only worship in church. Tell somebody, carry the atmosphere to your house. Ah, say carry the atmosphere to your house. Do you know the best time of worship? You know the best of worship is in the night because worship needs a calm and cool atmosphere. Listen, the height of spiritual maturity 
is in the ability to ignore what Satan is doing and worship God even in the midst of demonic attack. Symptoms increase on your body. He says, Satan, I will not give you the honor of calling your name. He says, Jesus, you are great. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, Sagaba. Oh. Years ago, 14 years ago, one time when I saw the Lord and his angels. Hi. Oh God. You know what I was worshipping with? Only you can do what no man can do. Ah. Only you can do what no man. Only you can change the doctor's report. Only you can do. Listen, I cannot sing this song without crying. Because it I don't know what happened with me and that song. As I was singing that song, pop, the realm opened. I saw the Lord, I saw angels. Only you can touch what no man can touch. Oh. Only you can do what no man can do. You know, I, I didn't grow up in Pentecost, so I didn't know me Christian songs. Hey, only you can do. Hey, it enter me. What no man can do. Oh. Only you can change. Ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. The other one was, let my enemies do not laugh. Ah, yeah. Asking where is the God. <laughs> Jesus. Let my enemies do not laugh. Asking where is the God. I'm saying this. Jesus, come and defend your name, oh Lord. <laughs> hey, you know my voice. Let my enemies do not laugh. Asking where is the God I'm serving. <laughs> Let my enemies do not laugh. Asking. Listen. Angels know this voice. Because this boy is a worshiper. I do, I do the same thing. Eight hours, nine hours. Jesus. Come and defend your name, O oh Lord. Let my enemies do not laugh, asking where is the God I'm serving. Let my enemies do not laugh, asking where is the God I'm serving. And I have confidence in you, <laughs> you never let me fall. I have confidence in you. <laughs> oh, Shadakade. What a joy to be saved, Jesus. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for grace. Thank you for love. I celebrate you, Lord. Anytime, any day. Jehovah. Jesus. 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 And let your living water flow by my soul. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let the Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burdens come to you, 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 you. Hey, when is the last time you and him in one corner you worship him? Do you know one sign to know, eh, that you are moving the realms of worship is that you you receive new songs. If all the songs you sing in worship are the ones we sing in church. You're not the worshiper. Wait, enter that place. Listen, I, I entered there and I heard, show me your way, Malabaya. Holy Spirit, show me your way. Show, show me, me your way. way. Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, show me your way. Friend, I was worshiping when that song came. And that time I was worshiping God. In the place of worship. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the place of worship. In the place of worship, I heard that lead me to the rock. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. When I'm overwhelmed in your shadow, I'll hide. You are my life, salvation and stronghold. The only God I know. Now notice that the songs received in worship always have you. You. Not he is you. You. You are my light. You. You. Ah. You are my light. Salvation and strong. The only God I know. Do you know why? Because when you begin to worship God, when these spirits come, they open your ear to hear the sounds of heaven. Listen, heaven has billions of worship songs. It's not given to prayer warriors. Worship us. Sometimes not a song, it's just a melody. Now you are saying, what does it mean? What does it mean? And Bible says, making melody in your heart, in chant. There's not only song, so once it's chant, chant is communicating a realm of worship. Not in words, but in sounds. I say, my father, I'm calling for you. You are saying, my love, I'm calling for you. You are saying, My love, I'm calling for you. says this one is groaning that words cannot utter when you enter this place listen there you'll be saying you know say you know be say again only you can you be na, 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 na. when you enter that place you can no longer use words you start changing songs to melodies then you begin to receive melodies that that nobody has heard ay, 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 now look we don't know what the song is saying but our spirit is responding what's the meaning of I -I but you know what something do you know what was happening to your bodies now? Was your spirit being moved? Was it being moved or not? It's because what I... You see this thing I sang now? I've never heard it. I just said it now. I heard it now. It means I captured the sound. And I began to bring you to where that sound is coming from. going just keep that melody in your heart we'll come back to it very soon amen someone say worship encounters listen you are going to you will, you will see jesus you will see angels it will be open 
Can I give you the fourth trigger for encounters? Fellowshipping with the saints. This is a ministry that people don't understand, no, sir. Let's open Hebrews 12, 22, 25. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of who? The living God. To the, to what? So who are those who gather in church? An innumerable company of who? Angels. Continue. To the general assembly of the first of the church of the general assembly and church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven to God the judge of all to the spirits of just men made perfect 24 to Jesus the mediator see he says when you come to church there are angels watch then there is the spirit of this right now in this service now do you know what they call spirit of just men Abraham Moses look here Elijah Isaiah he said when you come to church like this when we gather in the flesh he said they gather in the spirit God is there Jesus he, he said company of in angels you cannot count he said now spirit of just men can I tell you something Elijah is here now Moses is here now that's why sometimes when you come to a service like this kind of service like this you know what happened have you ever had a service and you go back the service continues for your dream ha, that, that's what they call ah, yeah, hey. <laughs> it means there was an encounter in that service so you now saw it in your dream don't miss church because there are angels that minister to us in church Matthew 18, 18, 19 wherever two or three are gathered in my name I am what happens to where one is gathered where two so the fellowship with the saints sometimes listen to me that's why you see I say this church now, they, they have not yet come to understand who I am in the spirit. So I say things and anything, I need people who can flow with me. There are things I know in the spirit, but people are too slow to get it. Workers are slow to get it. I put, do you, know, do you know how we put prayer cells? No, it's not for anything. But for encounters. When you go to that prayer cell and you hold hands with people and pray, something happens. Something happens. Don't miss church service. You can come for service like this as well. You're here. You go this night in your dream, you see Elijah, you see Moses fellowship with this wherever two or three are gathered in my name i am there Matthew 18 18 to 19. let's be honest all of us here know that this service is not normal uh, all of us there's an atmosphere here barakashida brother now let me show you something the lord was teaching me you know we have these triggers right but what are the requirements to have an encounter because you can still pray and worship eh? and attention nothing happen the first requirement to activate an encounter is have a burden someone say burden or let me say no spiritual hunger no one says spiritual hunger friend if you are not hungry for spiritual things you will not see them psalm 63 verse 1 to 2 my soul <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah. Test for you. My body longs for you to see your power. He said, Early, O Lord, shall I seek thee? The first requirement for encounter, someone says, spiritual hunger. Do you know that there are people who are even in a bar drinking alcohol, but have spiritual hunger? And there are people in church who don't have no hunger for spiritual things. Know that somebody will leave bar, go in the house, and see God. That's why God did not appear to Esau, but appeared to Jacob, a thief, because he had hunger. Some people don't have hunger for God. As I'm preaching now, like this, they are being bored. You see how they have encounters? You must have an hunger. Sustain your hunger for God. You see me, friend? I have hunger. Hunger to see angels. Hunger to see Jesus. Oh, when I wanted to see heaven, I took 40 days. Just say, Father, I want to see heaven. Just show me just small. Then I saw it. The day I was carried to heaven, angels entered my room and said, Come, they have called for you. I left my body, entered something like a spiritual vehicle. We went, enter heaven. Listen, I need to tell you, say, maybe a story. I, I, saw, I saw it life that I, I touched, I spoke to angels. I saw things, things which I cannot even tell you people because some of you will not believe what I say, but I saw it. I saw, I came and said that I saw prophets there who some was seen on earth. And after three months, the prophet died. I saw him in heaven and he was walking there. I said, how can this man be walking in heaven where he's on earth? I'm speaking about prophet Tibisha. When he was still alive, February 2022, 2021. 2021. 
Is it 21, 22? I was carried to heaven and I saw him and I said, ah, he's walking in heaven, he's on earth. Four months later, he died on earth, which means his spirit had gone to heaven since. I, God is my witness that I saw it. And I came and said it in church as I saw this man in heaven. Is it 2021, 2022? 2021, I saw it. February, I cannot forget the month. Where is your hunger? Where is your hunger? Do you know what hunger does? Hunger keeps you sleepless in the night. Hunger makes at midnight you can't sleep. Something is disturbing you. You want to see his glory. You cannot rest. Aye. We be whole until we are made. <laughs> we be whole until we are formed. No need to be whole. We keep looking. We stay in the place of encounter to something comes from heaven. To something opens. Lord, I'm waiting every night. Stand at your watchtower, my sister. Stand there. 1 a.m. to 4. No matter how busy you are, make a time for spiritual things. 1 a.m. Say, Lord, I'm back. Say, Lord, I was busy today, but I'm back. Lord, remember that my prayer. I want to see your glory. I want to see you, Lord. As I was praying. Someone says spiritual hunger. That's the first trigger. Number two. Second requirement is quickened spiritual senses. If your spiritual senses are dead, you cannot have encounter. Because encounters is with your eye, your ear, and your heart. Matthew 13, 15. Your eye must be open. Are you getting what I'm saying? Your ear must be open. Matthew 13, 15. Your eye must be open. Your ear must be open. Someone say quickened spiritual senses. That's why I'm here. To speak to your spiritual senses. Come alive now. I say come alive now. Come alive now. Number three. The prophetic anointing. Hmm. The prophetic Revelation 19 verse 10. Someone say prophetic anointing. Or no, put it there. The spirit of prophecy. Open yourself to the spirit of prophecy. Do you know that if you attain a church where the pastor is prophetic, you start having encounters? Prophetic anointing is the, is the requirement. It's what structures the atmosphere. Listen, there is no one person in this service or who will ever watch this message. Listen to what I'm saying as a prophet. I put an anointing in this, in this message. Anytime and anywhere this message will be watched, men will have encounters with the Lord. Amen. I've said it so, so shall it be. Amen. 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 So, when you have an encounter, what are the prophets? Number one, spiritual awareness. Genesis 28 17. Jacob said, The Lord is here, and I did not know it. The first thing that encounters bring some say spiritual awareness. You see me now, so I'm not saying angel day for you because I'm, I've had encounters. So I, I know spiritual knowledge. The only way to have spiritual awareness is by encounters. It will happen to you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Some say spiritual awareness. You know, the more you have encounters, the more when an angel comes, you will know. You just say, and sometimes I will say, an angel is here. They say, ah, what's that the angel day? They don't have when you have encounters. Before you say, you say, you will know. Listen, eh, what I was saying, ah, yeah, hey, ah, yeah, hey. anybody here that was sensitive will know that something happened at that time I sang that song. That song was an op was a sound that summoned an angel into this place. I saw an angel coming when I sang that song. Ah, uh, Genesis 28, 17, please. Jacob said, and the Lord is here and I did not know. So after the encounter, he knew. Number two, spiritual experiences. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 3. Encounters help you experience what? The spiritual realm. 
you begin to experience the light, the life of God, the power of the Holy Ghost. I, the realm of angels, the realm of glory, it is open to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Someone says spiritual experiences will happen to me. Number three, spiritual conviction. You know what this one means? Or in bracket, assurance. Let me put the spiritual assurance. Second Timothy 1 12. Paul said, I know whom I believe. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone say assurance. There are people who are not sure. They're not sure if they are saved. They're not sure there's heaven. Listen, you can't tell me there's no heaven. I saw heaven. I've seen hell. I say, I, I don't believe in hell. That one is what you're saying. I have seen it. What a man has encountered, he becomes sure of his existence. Friend, I saw Jesus face to face, not one time, more than five times. I'm going to say, Jesus, not day. I saw him. Who spoke to me? Life. I've seen Jesus in a vision. I've seen him in a trance. I've seen him in a dream. I've seen him physical. He stands on his, he stands and stands on physical. What did he give me? Assurance. When the sick come, I have no fear because Jesus appeared and said to me, I have made you into a rock out of which rivers of healing will flow. And I opened my hand. Life, not, I'm not saying a thing trick. I saw a green light shine in my hand like a bulb. He said that is the power to heal the sick. It, I'm not afraid of sickness because I am an assurance. He said, he go where, he no go where. No, he must wear unless there was no faith. That's the assurance. And the Gabriel said to me, you must prophesy again about many people, nations, languages, and kings. I am sure of my prophetic call. I am sure. I am sure. I am sure. Whether you don't believe in me is your problem. I know what the angel told me. I was there. I had the angel speak to me face to face. He said to me, you have been sent for the liberation of many from the shackles of sin, poverty, sickness, and darkness life I hear clear. That's what he tell me. I'm sure. What I know, I know, my friend. Number four. Is it number four? Impartation. Someone say impartation. Second Kings 3, 5 to 15. Solomon encountered God and he was imparted with wisdom and wealth. Through encounters, you are in spiritual impartation. Let's say spiritual impartations. They can, you will receive spiritual things. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody receive it now. Amen. Spiritual what? Do you know if an angel comes and stands here now eh, and is ministering to you, is ministering to you, the Holy Ghost will move me, I'll go to you. And hi, God's hand on my hand. As I'm putting my hand, he'll put his hand on my hand. And then give you the thing. But when you mature, I will not need to come there. As we are behind the church, ay, 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 ay. you start feeling heat because the angel come and use his wings and cover you. Kadabaya. As he remove his wings and go back to heaven, you remember the fire. From that day you can pray. From that day you can prophesy. From that day a certain ability come wisdom, come grace, come impartations are genuine when encounters are evident. And number five, spiritual transformation. Second Corinthians 3, 17, 18. You see, as we look, we are transformed. Friend, Saul was a sinner that fought the church. When he saw Jesus, he changed. Nobody preached to him, sir. There was no belief. No, he saw him. He, he said, First John 3, 1. Is it? We shall, when we see him, we shall be like him. First John 3, 1, I think 1 and 2. Your trans okay. Behold, what manner of love is this? The Father has given us that we should not be we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because he did not know him. Verse 2. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall. So what when we see him, we shall be like him. Have you been fighting against immorality? Fornication masturbation, pornography. All you need is an encounter. 
you can have an encounter in a dream and you wake up every desire for sex has died ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. something every day Lord deliver me deliver me oh, listen you can meet the seraphim as I have met the seraphim they sanctified him he said and he said and they took call from the fire and they touched his tongue and as I became holy you can be full of desires bitterness desire for fornication or pride when you enter a dream and you see a seraphim because they are angels of holiness as you wake up you are, you are now shocked your friends are calling you look here I don't want to go again what happened? an encounter suddenly listen to me God is my witness I stand on the altar before the Lord Jesus appeared to me I had been smoking cigarettes for over 10 years and I had tried to stop and I could not stop when he appeared this is not pride nobody prayed for me nobody delivered me when he appeared and left I realized I could not smoke again I could no longer the desire for sex died from that time to the marriage there was no fornication with any woman from that time were there temptations? yes there was something that sustained me because in that encounter I was transformed to listen I was the worst of sinners in sin deep I was deep inside but when I saw him I saw the light I became light so it was a change in my heart suddenly love entered my heart no matter what you do to me I will never do it back to you because I saw love when I looked at the eyes of Jesus it was like looking inside an ocean of love it was a water full of light I looked in his eyes I saw so much love that my heart was changed have you seen me fighting people? I can't fight them. I don't have that idea. Before, when they come to fight, I was a chief fighter. I could fight a whole quarter. Use matches, break bottle. Now nah, I can no longer because I saw love. I was transformed. I was changed from glory to glory. And the more I have encounters, the more my transformation becomes evident. There are times you realize, sometimes I come to church and after a while you see that when I preach, my message has more weight. It's because I had an encounter. If you have noticed now, my prophetic has changed. It's because of an encounter. I had an encounter. An angel appeared to me around the month of May. After he left, I realized I could see deeper in the spirit. Transformations, character, transformations, transformations. There are desires in your body. I tell you, one encounter will kill it. Have you seen the light? When the light shines, darkness has to go. You realize you don't want to drink again. Listen, I was captured by cigarette, captured a slave. I am a shot in pain. I remember sometimes I would pray and cry. Sometimes I would cry, kneel down, roll on the floor. I want to stop this thing, but I could not stop. So sometimes I'll just go and sit down somewhere and begin to cry. Oh, I cried oh, for that thing to stop. I prayed, did not stop. Then when I saw him, finished. There was no desire to go and fornicate. I mean, everything that I've, this, I've never, this is not, I'm not praying there. Father, I don't want to fornicate. I, I never prayed that prayer. You know why? When I saw him, those things died. And since they died, Satan has not been able to revive them. I mean, they died. I have, I have not tasted alcohol. From that time to now, I have not tasted, not any kind, not any form, not, never. Which before, that was what I was doing. What happened to me? Transformation. All of a sudden, the friends in whom I used to find joy in sinning, when they come, I'm no longer comfortable. Something had happened in my heart. Hiya. It was an encounter. Hi, stand on your feet.